Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there's an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. to my zone online school my name is teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today our theme this week is senses and before we get into any lessons boys and girls we know that we have to sanitize remember sanitizing is not the only way we can stay safe we can practice good social distancing and wear our masks when we are outside Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. For today's lesson, we're going to be doing comparisons, computation, and crosswords. To start our lesson today, boys and girls, we are going to go to page six. On page six, we are going to be comparing numbers. Now it is our job to write the symbol that makes the problem true. So let's take a look at the board. The symbols that we're going to use today are greater than, equal to, or smaller than. Now these ones, I'm sure we've bumped into them somewhere, but today we're going to use them as symbols to show which number is bigger by comparing two numbers. The first one we're going to do is the one that is at the bottom of your page. It says 23-22. Now, if we're looking at the two numbers, when we are counting, you need to start from 20. If you start from 20 and you count on, because both of them live in the family of 20s, you will see which one is the bigger number. 20. 21, 22. It looks like we started on 22 and then 23. So that means that the number 23 is bigger than the number 22. But how are we going to show that? Well, that's easy. We will use our symbols. Now pretend that this is a hungry crocodile and he likes to eat big numbers. So when there are two numbers standing together, he swims and then he checks which one is bigger. We already know that 23 is bigger than 22. So what he will do is get into the river and open his mouth and he will eat the bigger number. So to help him, we need to put his mouth in the right direction. So we are going to say, bigger than and he will eat 23 if the mouth is facing the wrong way he will eat the wrong number so remember this hungry crocodile likes to eat big numbers let's try the next one we have the number 77 is dash then 77 oh no can you see what i see 
it looks like it's the same number and that's true even though they belong in the same family of the 70s we can see that there's a seven behind the seven and another seven behind the seven so what do we do now well that is very easy we know that we have our symbols bigger than equal to or smaller than instead of telling the hungry crocodile to eat one of them because he's very greedy he's going to eat both of them and how do we show that by putting the equal sign so we're going to place the equal sign and then now we're moving on to the next one here we have six and sixteen now for the smaller numbers like 6 and 16, you can use your number line, but I'm pretty sure you can already see which one is the bigger number. Don't forget, the hungry crocodile likes to eat big numbers, so we must direct his mouth to the bigger number. Just like when we are eating, our mouth opens wide. So that's exactly what we need to do. So the hungry crocodile is coming and he's swimming. And then we tell him which one is the bigger number. He's going to open his mouth and snap! He's going to eat number 16. So he is going to eat the big number. So take your time, boys and girls, with this one. If you're not sure, you can always check your number line to compare the two numbers. Just make sure that when you're done, you check again because some numbers might look the same as the next one. Have fun and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on MyZone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. For our next exercise, boys and girls, we're going to continue with our mathematics on page 7. On page 7, we are going to do computations. We are going to add and subtract. Let's do the first two for each of them together. Let's take a look at the board. Now, the first one we're going to do is adding. It says 8 plus box equals 11. So how are we going to find this one? Well, there's a simple trick. We are going to count from eight to 11. The number that we have in between them is the one that is supposed to be in the box. So we're going to make sticks. We're going to start at eight and then we're going to stop at 11. Eight is already there. So we're saying nine, 10, 11. So that means that our answer is one, two, three. We are now going to write three in the box. Now our sum is complete. It says eight plus three equals 11. Let's now try and do the next one. It says seven plus box equals 10. So again, what we're going to do is count from 7 all the way to 10. The number that's in between them is the one that is missing. So let us start. 7 is already there, so we're going to say 8, 9, 10. Now we're going to count our sticks. 1, 2, 3. They are also 3. So we're going to write our answer 3. Now our sum is complete. It says 7 plus 3 equals 10. Now I'd like you to do that for all the ones that you have to add. You're going to try and find the difference between the two numbers by drawing sticks. And then when you're done drawing those sticks, count them. The number you get is the number that's supposed to be in the box. Now let's try and find the ones for the subtraction. We are also going to do the first two together. It says 10 minus box equals 7. This is a minus sign. So what do we have to do? Well, we're going to do the same thing, 
Except now, instead of counting going forward, we're going to count going backwards. So we're going to start at 10 and count backwards until we get to 7. Now 10 is already there, so we say 9, 8, 7. And now we are there. We now have to count our sticks. Let's go. 1, 2, 3. So the answer is 3. Now the sum is complete. It says 10 minus 3 equals 7. Good job everyone. Let's now do the last one together. The last one says 15 minus box equals 5. Again, we are going to use the same way. We're going to start at 15 and then count going backwards. So, let us begin. 15 is already there and we need to count backwards until we get to 5. So we say 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. We have come to our number. Now the only thing that is left is to count how many sticks we have and then write that number in the box. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 sticks. So our answer for the box is 10. That makes our sum complete and it says 15 minus 10 equals 5. So take your time boys and girls with both sides. Remember when you are adding you're going to be counting forward from the first number to the one that is at the equal sign. And then when you are subtracting you're going to count backwards from the first number to the one that is at the equal sign. Take your time and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn, and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. To end our lesson, boys and girls, we are now going to go to page eight. On page eight, we are going to be doing a crossword puzzle. And with our crossword puzzle is the sound oh. So, what we need to do is to use the word bank below to complete the puzzle. Let's start by reading the words below. We have the words mop, spot, sock, blocks, lock, log, pond, clock, frog, jog. Well done everyone. Now we're going to try and do a few together. So let's take a look at the board. On the board I have decided to just put a few of them that we're going to do. Remember when you're doing a crossword puzzle the picture or the clue is going to be either on top to tell you to write going down or on the side to tell you to write going across. We have some of our words that have R here that we're going to use to fill in the blocks. Remember, each letter will have its own block. Let's start with the one that we can see, sock. Now, as you can see, sock is going across. We can see that this is one sock. So all we're going to do is take the word sock and then we are going to write the S, the O, the C and the K. 
Make sure your handwriting is neat when you're writing these words. Now, sock is complete. So I'm going to go ahead and cross it out in the word bank. The next one I want to try and find is for this picture. This one is also going across. Now, I'm not sure what this is, so I have to go to the word bank to try and find which word can best describe what I'm seeing here. We have the words mop, no, log, no, spot, no, jog, no, blocks. Yes, they look like blocks. So I'm going to write the word blocks. I will start with a B and then an L, an O, a C, a K, and an S. Remember boys and girls, each letter will have their own box. Now my word for the picture blocks is complete. The last one we're going to do together has a picture which is telling us to write going down. Now, as you can see, we already have one letter, an S at the top, and then an O in the middle. This makes our life very easy because we know we are starting with an S. And if we take a look at the word bank, there is only one more word that has an S, and that is the word spot. So I'm going to write the word spot. The S is already there, so I need to put the P. The O is already there, so I only need to put the T. And now the word is complete. And I will cross it out in my word bank so that I don't use it again. So boys and girls, when you're doing your crossword puzzle, take your time. Read all the words in the word bank. Try and look carefully at the pictures. And if you're not sure what the word is or even the picture, try and use the other letters that may be there already as a clue. Take your time, have fun, and I'll see you soon after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Boys and girls, we have now come to the end of our lesson and I hope you had fun. Remember, if you're not sure what to do or you are confused, that's okay. You can always ask an adult for help. Just make sure that you finish all your work by yourself. Now that we are done, it is important for us to sanitize. Remember boys and girls, if you don't have sanitizer, that's okay. You can use soap and water. Just make sure you wash and rinse your hands for 30 seconds. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Sashi said he was going to come and visit me, but I haven't seen him today. Um, Sashi? Oh, there you are, Sashi. Would you like to go outside today? Wonderful. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today. And goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirkat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.